What's going on my ninjas? We just wrapped up 36 townhomes. Uh, they, I mowed all of them front and back. They weed eat at an edge, now they're in the back. Uh, I just finished blowing off the front and I'm gonna go ahead and blow off the back real quick uh, and should be wrapping it up here and moving on. Not sure if we're gonna take a break after this or not. We'll just see how they feel. <clears throat> real quick update on that lady. Um, and also on the uh, dump trailer. Uh, the lady, if you remember, if you watched my couple of videos, I think two videos back, if I'm not mistaken, maybe three, I had stated where um, I had a lady who's not my customer, but she's a friend of one of my customers, uh, and she needed some help, but I couldn't help her because of her budget. I personally couldn't mow her yard, and um, but I told her I'd look into maybe where I have a push mower that I can just give her. Um, the more I just talked about it, I thought about it to myself and talked to my wife. And one of you guys also commented, I am keeping my push mower the one I started my company with. I'm not going to get rid of that. I can't, guys. That's just, I can't do that. Uh, the other one, you know, I have it, but it's, it's just a mulcher. It's not a side discharger, which I think is going to give her more of a headache than helping her because if her yard is overgrown uh, it's past due uh, with it being just a mulcher it's not going to do much for her except just give it a, like I said a headache and clunks and bog down and maybe even die on her so and plus it's an older one so you know I'd hate to give it to her and uh, and then for her to use it once or twice and it just dies on her so I made the decision I just got off the phone with her I didn't tell her uh, she checked in with me uh, yesterday left me a voicemail she said oh Nick she's like 60 something years old guys Nick uh, she's like I just wanted to check in with you I know you're busy but have you had a chance to look through some of the old push mowers that you said you might have for me uh, she's like I hope uh, one of the uh, old ones has come back alive from the dead and uh, I just bless her heart man I'm you know, she teared up on the phone when I called her just a few minutes ago and I said, um, I have a, I didn't tell her this, but I just said, hey, I have a push mower. And uh, she just teared up. So she's going to tear up even more when I show up either Sunday or Monday. Um, depending on her schedule, if she's home, she's supposed to be babysitting some people Sunday. But if she gets home early enough, babysitting people's kids. Um, but if she gets back home Sunday early enough, she, I told her to call me and I'll drop by and give it to her. I've never met the lady. Uh, and just uh, drop it off. But if not, then Monday or Tuesday. So stay tuned on that. But I'm not giving her a used push mower. I finally, I talked to my wife about it. We've kind of um, come to a decision and a conclusion that I'm just going to go buy her a brand new push mower. It's not think fancy, guys. It's not a self-propel or anything like that. But uh, it's brand new, and um, I told her about it. I didn't tell her I'm buying it. I just said, I have one, but it's not self-propelled. She's like, oh, my goodness, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Nick. You are a blessing. I don't care if it's a self-propelled or not. I don't ask for handouts, but this is a lifesaver. I mean, she just went on and on and on. And uh, So, yeah, I'm going to get her a brand new mower. And uh, I'm just gonna drop it off to her Sunday, either Sunday or Monday, Tuesday. Like I said, uh, and the reason I say Monday, Tuesday, because if she if she gets home late Sunday and it doesn't work out, Monday might not be an option for me because of my schedule. We'll just see. But either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned for the giveaway. Uh, I just don't think, as so far, uh, any person I know that's better to give away to somebody than a 60-year-old woman who lives alone and needs help and she says she's already got some friends who've offered to help her mow but they don't have a push mower or they don't have a mower period um or if they do uh around their house like a tractor I, they probably don't have a truck and trailer to bring it to her house Pe people are not i don't know i guess not gonna do that but uh, uh they don't have one that they can mobily bring it to her i guess <clears throat> so she's saying she's already got some neighbor neighbor kid neighborhood kids that would be willing to cut her yard and maybe even some friends but she just needs a mower so anyway stay tuned on that i'm gonna go wrap it up ninjas are furious back there all i heard <laughs> um but yeah i just wanted to update you on that also oh trailer okay real quick before i go i talked to texas pride talked to the manager who 
was responsible for any kind of warranty work. They're very cool, very apologetic. I'm very cool. I'm a very cool guy, guys. I don't. It takes a takes a lot to get me all worked up or pissed off. Yeah, some people would be pissed. They'd be like, "Man, I just paid all this kind of money, and this is what you brought me in my driveway." But guys, it's man-made. The trailer is freaking awesome. Um, you know. I come to a conclusion where I'm just going to either take it in and have it fixed and they'll pay for it because it's warranted. Uh, or I might even just try to tighten it myself on both sides. I just didn't have a chance last night. It was late. I was getting ready to go in and um, upload the video, make my list and eat dinner and all that. So, was, you know, I didn't know that was going to, it was going to do what it did. But uh, anyway, just... Um, I'll either try it myself or I'm just gonna take it in and um, you know take it in or do it myself and whichever I want to do I'll keep you guys posted but uh, it's um, it's gonna be taken care of and I'll probably have to add a little bit of hydro hydraulic fluid to it because a lot of it came out but it's not a big deal I, I love the trailer overall um, it's a great trailer so Stay tuned, but that, I wanted to update you on that. I talked to them. They were very cool, very apologetic. They said, this is not common, you know, it's not something that happens. The most common thing they said they have is people overloading their trailer when it comes to hydraulic stuff and people overloading their trailer and then um, trying to lift it and just bust it. And, uh, and the lines break because it's too heavy. That He said that's the most common. Anything else, he goes, it's not. You know, and nothing like this. So sounds like it just wasn't tightened all the way uh, at the manufacturer and both sides. So anyway, but I'll, I'll try to figure out, maybe look at it myself on Sunday and see if I can just tighten it and, and then try it again. If not, then I'm gonna take it in. If it gets too complicated or something that I don't feel comfortable, I'm gonna take it in and uh, have them fix it. Not that big a deal. I'll probably take it to one of those truck, truck and trailers or uh, or maybe even just any kind of auto body shop or whatever. Any kind of mechanic can do it. So. Um, but I'll definitely try to do it myself first. Stay tuned, ninjas. It's Friday, and we're, we're done with the 36 townhomes. Literally just wrapping it up. And um, we've got 20 on the list. As usual, I've told you guys this before. It's 20 a day. And um, that's it. Take care, my ninjas. Here come my ninjas. They're ch chitter-chatting over here something. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.
Jimmy, what'd you think about that yard? Man, that was a hell of a yard right there. Hell man. of a yard? Hey, yeah, yo. <laughs> I think we missed some in the back, man. I might have to go get it. <laughs> you gonna go uh, walk all the way up there? Yeah. I don't know why that off your nose. Oh, what's the permit? Never mind. I'm just shaking off your nose. Now you're fine. But you the one who missed it. Did I? Yeah. I made it past. I know he missed two, three places right here. No, it's, 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 it's up there by that fence where you was trying to turn. You know how sometimes you gotta fill it in. Listen to this guy. He's saying I missed something. You, you hear this? Listen, we can go up there right now. I'm finna fill it in. You can walk with the camera behind me while I fill in it. Since you think I'm lying. This guy thinks he's slick. All right. <laughs> Just give me more camera time. Boss man to miss something. You hear this? No way. No way. What? That I missed something. Right. Come on now. Right. Hey, hey, hey. Are you trying to be a YouTube star? I'm already a star, man. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already a star, YouTube. Way before YouTube, I was already a star. <laughs> now, with YouTube, that's just going to blow me up worldwide, man. They're going to be looking for me in Germany. Man, Hold on a second. If you're going to go up there and weed eat, aren't you going to have to bring a, a blower with you? No, see, because it's up there by the hill. You know, you ain't going to need no blower. See, uh -huh. I'm a professional. Wow. Wow. I'm be professional. Are you going to walk or run up there? Uh, yeah, one out of You guys have seen this big one before. It's huge. It's a monster. And, uh, he's actually running. Look at him. He's jogging. With a weed eater. He's jogging. No. Billy, shut it. You don't even know how much this yard is. Well, maybe that's what you would do it for, but that's not what it is. Hey, Billy over here trying to guess how much this yard is. And what's crazy is I actually see right where my finger is a piece of grass sticking up. Which means uh, my blades are way past due for uh, replacing. Anyway, thanks for watching my ninjas. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed today. It's not too much today. I just recorded a little bit earlier, a little bit of mowing, uh, a little bit of uh, Jimmy blowing off, and uh, this pretty much concludes it. So it's gonna be a nice and sweet and short one. Take care, see you guys tomorrow. Later.